This video covers the setup of SOLIDWORKS drawing templates in sheet formats. If you're interested in learning about part and assembly template setup, we have a separate video on that linked in the description below. SOLIDWORKS drawing templates control the units and precision of your document. The drafting standards, such as ANSI versus ISO, line thicknesses, fonts, and styles, as well as additional things like default views. The sheet format is a second file type that controls the overall sheet size and the title block and sheet border. So the sheet format is what a lot of people might actually think of when they think of a SOLIDWORKS drawing template. In this video we're going to cover creating a sheet format with an automatic border, drawing the title block, adding notes and fields to populate for things like material, part number, and so on, setting up custom properties so those fields automatically populate, saving the sheet format, editing our units and drafting standard, and then saving the overall drawing template. There's also timestamps in the video description below if you'd like to jump ahead to any step. Before we even get started, I just wanted to give a quick preview of the functionality that we're after, which is that if I choose to create a new drawing, I'll have a template here that automatically populates with my sheet border. And when I go to place in my model, You'll see properties like part number, description, and material automatically populating below. And I also have the desired settings that I'm interested in for the way that my dimensions and annotations will look. So to get started here, we're going to do a file new inside SOLIDWORKS and choose our default drawing template. So when I click OK to create this drawing template, I'm prompted to also choose a sheet format. And you can see here the sheet format would control the size of the sheet and what's displayed on it. But I want to show you how to create a sheet format from scratch. So we're going to not use one here. We're going to uncheck display sheet format. But we want to have the correct size here, which is 8.5 by 11 in this case. So we'll click OK. And we end up creating a drawing that has no real sheet to it yet, no real title block. So we'll just X out of the model view prompt that's created there. And the first thing I want to do is edit my sheet format. So we do this by right clicking and coming on down to edit sheet format. Now I'm in the mode where I want to be drawing my title block and sheet border while I'm editing the sheet format. So you want to pay attention to that difference. Uh, if I right click right here it says edit sheet, that means I'm currently in the active sheet format. And you might see there's an option there for automatic border. We can also get to that through this sheet format tab. So this function was added more recently. We can click on automatic border here, click the next arrow, and then we can automatically generate a border for our sheet format along with drawing zones if we want that. So you can create those uh, battleship-like drawing zones there with A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you want to be taking advantage of the zone callout functionality that we have in SOLIDWORKS to call out where things are located. Since this is going to be a really simple example, I'm going to uh, disable the display of these. I'll key in my desired uh, margin size. Going to use 3 sixteenths of an inch around the document. Uncheck the zone dividers and callouts there, so we just get a simple border. And we'll click the check mark to accept that simple border. Now, before we proceed much farther, it's very important to note that although this sheet border looks like it's fully defined, we it's actually not. We can click and drag the corners of it. So in order to lock this thing into position, what I would recommend is that we select each vertex, so each sketch point uh, or vertex at the corners here, select them all and then fix them. So by clicking that fix button, we should make it so that these are no longer able to be dragged and they're essentially locked in position there. That gives me a nice 
foundation to build up my notes area off of. And we'll do this by just sketching. So if you have an existing DWG or anything like that, you could import it in. But we're just going to get into our sketch commands with the line tool. We can anchor or put a coincident constraint against one edge of the sheet border. And I'll just come off horizontal some distance. If I hover back over that, I can auto transition into an arc. And then drop a line straight down vertical and also grab that coincident relation to the sheet border. So we can sketch right inside our drawings to create our outlines for our sheet format. Then I can go to my dimension tool and actually di dimension the size of this to get a little more precise. Now we don't want these dimensions showing, so we'll end up hiding them once they're created. But I'm going to proceed along here and just continue to divide up this area until I have it looking roughly like what I want. Just like any sketch, we can add relations here to make sure these things are nice and precise. Once I have everything set up the way I want, I'm going to get out of the Smart Dimension tool select all my dimensions and then right click and hide them so they don't appear on the display. But I still have a essentially a parametric title block area here. Now this area is looking a little thin in terms of the line weights that I want to be using. So I'm going to show you two tools that I find useful and they're accessible as toolbars. So we're going to go to view toolbars and then enable line format. And I'll also show view toolbars and layer. And I'm just going to dock these on the bottom of my screen. You could customize your command manager or other shortcut bars with these commands if you wanted to. So the line format toolbar would allow me to customize line thickness or line color for individual line segments that I select. So if I want to adjust this outside border, this outside area to be a certain line weight, I could come on down, choose the line thickness, and then set that to something thicker. In this case, I want the whole title block area to be a heavier line weight. So in those situations, what I like to do is define the line weight by layer. Right now we don't have any additional layers created in our drawing. I'm going to click this little button for layer properties. So I can create a new layer, which I'll call title block. And then I can specify the style, thickness, and color, so on. So I'll give that a heavier line thickness. Now, this layer mapping does go into a DXF or DWG export if you're ever going to be exporting your drawings. But in this case, I'm using it just as an organizational tool to separate my different line thicknesses. And you can hide and show layers at any point as well if you're interested. So once that new layer is created, I'm going to click OK. And then I'll select these entities here and use the little arrow down here, the pull down rather, to switch those over to the title block layer and you'll see them all of a sudden get that thicker line weight. Now as we're working on this we can save this to save our progress. So I'm going to click save and give it a name like work in progress um, sheet format. I'm just saving it as a regular SOLIDWORKS drawing but this prevents me from losing this work that I've created. And now we want to start getting in some of the text that will be down here. So I'll do that under the Annotation tab. And we primarily use this Note function to add text. If I choose Note, I can place this down here, add my company information. And you'll see we have this formatting toolbar so we can adjust any of the parameters about this that we want, font size and color, and so on. Just hit escape once you've placed your note, and we can put that there. So you'll see me here just adding some additional notes 
and taking advantage of the formatting options that are available. Now when it comes to things we want to automatically populate, I'm just going to write kind of the title field I want for these right now. This includes things like part number, description, material. These are things that I want to be populating based off the model that's inserted onto the drawing. I also want to have callouts for sheet scale and sheet number. There's also alignment tools we can take advantage of, so rather than me trying to manually align all these things together, I can box select notes, right click, and align. In this case, I'll align them right. I can also right click, align, and space them evenly down. So we've got all our static fields defined now. Let's just take a moment to recap. So far we've created an automatic border on our desired sheet size. We've drawn out our title block and added those notes and static fields to our document. Since this video is getting a little long, we'll cover setting up the custom properties to automatically populate, saving out the sheet format, editing units and drafting standard, and finally saving our drawing template in part two which is linked in the description below.